What up everybody, it's your boy Robicus, back with another video. This time I'm going to show you how to get all the druid stones in Rogue Heroes, Ruins of Tassos. You know the drill, like and subscribe. Okay, so the first one is a squirrel stone. It comes with a class, you don't have to find it, it just comes with a class. There's nothing else to say. If you don't know how to get the class, look up my video on how to get the class. Um, but just to, in a nutshell, you have to beat the mines and then it's up north um, in a cave that looks just like the mines right next to it. Yeah, so the squirrel stone, what it allows you to do is you basically run around as a squirrel and you have like a little dash move that deals damage. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like, kind of like a ranger except for you don't have to press the attack button as you're doing the dash. Alright, secondly, there is the St. Naman stone. Okay, so the St. Naman stone is found in the middle of the ocean right in between the mainland and the swamps. It's right here on the map. Make sure that you've leveled your swimming all the way up, otherwise you're not going to make it down here. To get to it first, you got to swim all the way down here, find this little fish guy, and he's going to be insulted by your feet, that's what he says, and he's going to give you flippers. Now that you have the flippers, when you swim, you can do a swim dash. You're going to go north from that island and keep going north until you uh, pass under the bridge that goes to the swamp, and then you're going to find a lone chest, and that is going to have your St. Naman stone. The St. Naman uh, stone will allow you to turn into this fish looking guy every time you touch the water. Uh, so don't be confused when you hold down shift to find him. You're not going to be able to find it. It just automatically does it for you when you go into the water. The next one we're going to have is the Croker stone. So if you guys remember a long time ago, uh, next to the magic missile area, there used to be a tree that you could burn. They moved it. It's right here now. Um, when you burn a hole in the tree, there's going to be a little passage. You're going to go down the passage find a little guy with a croaker cloak and he's going to give you the croaker stone. This is another stone that you're not going to find when you hold down shift as a druid. Instead, you're just going to turn into a croaker every time you touch the mud. Next is the lemur stone. And you as a boomer, boom. and the lemur stone is hidden in the desert. Um, if you watch my fishing video, you'll find this area is very familiar looking. So, you are going to Go all the way to here on the map, um, travel up there, use the power fist to break through some bricks and you're going to find a chest right next to my favorite desert fishing spot. Open that up and you're going to have the lemur stone. The lemur stone allows the druid to become a lemur. Um, and as a lemur, you can do like a Super Mario Bros. 3 uh, statue move and that's going to stun enemies around you. It's kind of like a crowd control thing for um, all your buddies because honestly after you stun them uh, it takes you long enough to get out of the statue for you not to be able to hit them. So this is definitely a support type move. Okay, the next stone is a slither stone. This is the easiest one to get uh, besides the squirrel stone which just comes with a class. You're going to go talk to the lady in the middle of the village and she's going to be all like, oh shoot if you uh, get a bunch of snake fangs, we're going to give you a gift. So get a bunch of snake fangs, come back to her. Um, I, I don't remember how much it was because I've killed so many snakes in the game that I, I had too many fangs anyways. Um, I'm going to go back to her and she's going to be like, oh, here's a stone. And it's the slither stone. So what this stone does is it turns you into a snake, which gives you a poison move, which is only good as a support, I mean, honestly, it looks like the Druid's a pretty support class type character anyways. Um, what this does is you spit poison and the poison puts a weakness on uh, whatever mob you're fighting and when your buddy hits them, it's either auto crit or they just take more damage. It's kind of hard to tell. Alright, and then the last stone is the dog stone. To be honest with you guys, I just get it for completionist reasons because the dog stone doesn't do anything you're just a dog that walks around that that's it to get this stone there's a little island that's right next to um where the final level is right up here you're gonna find a lady named margaret and she's gonna ask you for a either a singular or three of the little uh, frost petals up north they're really easy to get as a matter of fact <laughs> You can exploit it because there is one area where a frost petal grows and there's a uh, cave door next to it. You can pick it 
go back in, come back out, and pick another one. But I'm pretty sure you only need one of these just for her to, uh, just to suffice. So when you give it to her, she's going to give you the dog stone. And then that's it. You have all the uh, spheres. All right, guys. Well, hope you guys liked it. Like and subscribe if you want to. Shout out to little nephews and cousins. And I'll see you in the next one.